Hey y'all, it's John Trump from Bounding Into Comics and I've got a heavy topic for you today. Uh, following the recent piling on of Kobe Bryant after his death, the same thing is now happening to Kirk Douglas who passed away yesterday. Uh, before we get into it, I'd like to ask if you could please hit the subscribe button. It helps us ensure more people can see our videos and helps us combat Google and YouTube manipulating their algorithms to favor major corporations at the expense of the small guy. So if you could please hit that subscribe button, we would appreciate it. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you are still subscribed because YouTube likes to do unsubscribe people. Um, so thank you. Uh, and so let's get into this. So shortly after Michael Douglas announced the death of his father, uh, this was literally less than an hour after Michael Douglas made this, made this uh, announced the death, the usual suspects on Twitter began disparaging Kirk Douglas. Um, but before we get into uh, these people disparaging Kirk Douglas, I want to read Michael Douglas' statement, which he posted to Facebook. So Michael Douglas wrote, It is with tremendous sadness that my brothers and I announced that Kirk Douglas left us today at the age of 103. To the world he was a legend, an actor from the golden age of movies who lived well into his golden years. A humanitarian whose commitment to justice and the causes he believed in set a standard for all of us to aspire to. But to me and my brothers, Joel and Peter, he was simply dad. To Catherine, a wonderful father-in-law. To his grandchildren and great-grandchild, their loving grandfather. And to his wife, Anne, a wonderful husband. Kirk's life was well-lived, and he leaves a legacy in film that will endure, endure for generations to come, and a history as a renowned philanthropist who worked to aid the public and bring peace to the planet. Let me end with the words I told him on his last birthday, and which will always remain true. Dad, I love you so much, and I am so proud to be your son. Hashtag Kirk Douglas. Despite Kirk's accomplishments, the lowlifes on Twitter decided to dump on him. Uh, first up, we got Zach Hunt, who wrote, In honor of Kirk Douglas's passing, I'm sharing these photos of a teenage Natalie Wood, who told friends that at the age of 18, she was violently raped by Mr. Douglas. Call me old-fashioned, but I'd rather honor the victims. And Roadman added, Here's the moment I got out uh, of an interview to a flurry of texts revealing the death of Kirk Douglas a.k.a. Natalie Wood's Rapist. Thank you for your T's and P's tonight. We are all Spartacus. Maria Del Russo stated, I appreciate the fact that Kirk Douglas isn't trending according to my Twitter, but Natalie Wood is. Let's center the survivor and not the disgusting man who Hollywood continued to prop up. Good job, Twitter. Matt Mitchell was thankful that Kirk Douglas was dead. He wrote, Kirk Douglas is thankfully dead now. So here's a few photos of Natalie Wood and James Dean that I love. Heidi and Moore shared an article from Gawker and wrote, TW colon sexual assault. Here's what Kirk Douglas did to Natalie Wood. He punched her, raped her, sent her to the hospital, and traumatized her life. I do not want to see a single tribute to this monster on anyone's timeline. Now, you're probably wondering why all these people are going after Kirk Douglas. Well, it's the same reason they went after Kobe Bryant. A uh, 2001 biography on Natalie Wood written by Suzanne Finstad claimed Wood was brutally raped by a, quote, powerful and famous actor-producer in the 1950s when she was 16. Finstad did not name any names. Wood's sister, Lana Wood, would also confirm that Natalie Wood was raped in the podcast series Fatal Voyage, uh, The Mysterious Death of Natalie Wood in 2018. On the podcast, Lana, who would have been eight at the time, uh, stated, We drove her up to the Chateau Marmont, and my mother and I sat in the car for hours to the point where I went to sleep, and that was the uh, interview where Natalie was raped. I was asleep in the back seat, and I just remembered it was not a happy ride home. I thought I heard Natalie and my mom talking heatedly in undertones. Many, many years later, and there again, Natalie only alluded to the fact that something bad had happened and in a way blamed my mom for being too eager for Natalie to get roles. I mean, it was something that Natalie went through in trying to come to terms with. You know, such a horrendous thing, particularly being that young. There again, it's, uh, it's not something that my mom would pursue because you don't want to make that big star angry. You don't want the studio knowing that this occurred. She would never have said anything to authorities or, or anyone. 
she also did not name uh, any names. The Kirk Douglas connection came in 2012 via the Hollywood gossip site Crazy Days and Nights. A commenter by the name of him with four M's claimed that Kirk Douglas was the one responsible for raping Natalie Wood. So uh, in the comments of a 2012 uh, post from Crazy Days and Nights, uh, this commenter him uh, wrote, detailed uh, the rape and said, today he's still alive and, and barely holding on, but those who know the truth are still hoping and praying he will rot in hell for eternity, that all his good deeds and, do and donations will never mask the truth. So when the time comes and the now 94 year old Kirk Douglas, superstar actor finally dies, there will be tributes and honors about him. Just remember that he is a monster who never repented, apologized, nor showed any sorrow for destroying the lives of others, especially the life of that young, beloved actress named Natalie Wood. Uh, interestingly about these comments, Gawker, back in 2012, reported that they were deleted an, an hour after they were posted by the, the author. Uh, Gawker would go on to speculate that Robert Downey Jr. was this anonymous user of him. However, Downey Jr. spokesman denied that it was him. Uh, and that's why these folks on Twitter are in a tizzy and condemning a man who just passed away. They believe a story posted by an anonymous user on an anonymous Hollywood gossip blog. And that's enough to wish someone rots in hell. It's disgusting. These people have no respect and they prove time and time again they are purely filled with hate. What do y'all think about this? Are these people completely unhinged or do you think there's some legitimacy to these rumors? Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button and share with your friends and family. Um, it probably isn't the most appropriate video to share with your family though. Uh, my name is John Trent and you've been watching Bounty in the Comics. Until next time.